Stop beating yourself up about what you're not. I'm not smart. I'm not creative. I'm not this. Stop beating yourself about what you are not. Instead, shift your mind. Shift your thoughts and focus more on who you are. Look, like, it's pretty simple. What you give attention to grows. Just like a just like a plant. If you continue to water a plant, it will grow. It will keep growing till it turns into a tree. <laughs> but if you don't water it at all, nothing is going to come out of it. But what people don't realize is that you can walk you can also water a poisonous plant. And those are the things that you are not, those are the negative things about yourself. You keep pouring into it, you keep watering it, you keep growing it and convincing yourself that you are that. You keep repeating it to yourself. I'm not good enough. I'm not smart enough. I can't make it. I can't achieve this. I can't achieve that. You keep pondering those things to yourself, with yourself. And that's why you're getting the results that you're getting. Your flaws... And your strengths are unique. You are bad at things. You are good at things. There is nobody that is not good at something. But the problem is those people always focus on their flaws. So I was talking to a client the other day. And she was just complaining about everything that's going on wrong in her life. Everything is going wrong. Oh, I have this job. I just quit my job. And I quit the job because the money I was spending to get to the job was the money they were paying me from the job. So I was basically not making anything. And that's a good reason to leave your job. And that's a good sign from the universe that that job is definitely not for you, right? But then I started asking her questions. Or she started asking me questions as well. And saying, um, okay, so how do you have this? How do you have that? How do you have this? How do you have that? How do you have this? How do you have that? And I told her, um, oh, because I do this. And she said, oh, so you're creative. That's why you have money. And I said, mm, am I the most creative person in the world? Nope. <laughs> but am I confident about what I create? Yes. Right? Confidence is a strength of mine. I don't focus on my flaws. I do what I, what I can do at my best, regardless of my flaws. And the thing about her is she's a hairstylist. And she's really good at retwists. So I asked her, okay, so what about your retwist business? Why don't you focus on that? And the first thing that came to her head is, oh, yeah, I can definitely focus on that if people are not being cheap. So you see what she's done there? She has blocked she has blocked herself from realizing that she's blocked herself from realizing that there's more opportunity out there than the maybe the cheap people she's met in the past or the few cheap people she's met, right? She has blocked herself from realizing that opportunity. And she has something that she's good at, which is hair. She's good at retwisting hair. She can make money from that instantly, right? But she has already cut herself short from the fact that she can actually make money doing that because people are cheap. But guess what? There are thousands of people, millions of people. So let's focus on people with braids. People with braids, there are thousands around her. There are thousands of people around her, yet she thinks that every single one of them is cheap, right? It's herself that is blocking her success and her advancement. So that's why I'm here. I'm using this story to open your mind and let you see that most of the problems in your life might really just be because of you and the things that you're doing and you and the way you come 
in front of yourself and stop yourself from achieving success. You are the one that's stopping yourself. You are the one that's stepping in front of yourself and saying, like uncertainty is in front of you, of course. Uncertainty, you don't know what's going to happen if you try. You don't know what's going to happen. So instead of facing uncertainty, you, 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 you already predict what's going to happen. And you know, and you know the way the world works, the universe works. The universe will give you more evidence about what it is you believe. So the moment you say, "Oh, I can't braid people's hair because people are cheap," then the universe will start to show you cheap people. And those people might not necessarily be cheap, but for example, you have a conversation with a person. Oh, I'm a braider. I would like to braid your hair. Uh, how much does it cost? It costs a hundred dollars. Oh, that's a little bit expensive. This girl that I did does it for 80. Then you get discouraged. You're like, okay, I'll do it for 80. Instead of letting the conversation go like this, after she says, I know a girl that does it for 80, you say, well, uh, most of my clients really appreciate my work and I do really good work and I take my time. I make sure I wash your hair. I make sure I put the right type of conditioner for your style of hair. You make suggestions to why your price is what it is and the quality of your work you see the difference and that person like mm, yeah uh sometimes my hair itches me after i do it with her so maybe doing it with you will solve that problem that's where money becomes nothing to them because what is really twenty dollars somebody that can afford eighty dollars will figure out how to afford hundred dollars if we're being real they will just figure it out and they'll meet you at hundred but because she stepped in front of herself she has already blocked herself from the possibility of earning that hundred dollars in the first place because she doesn't believe in herself to be able to she doesn't even believe there are people out there that are willing to pay for what she has to offer right so stop focusing on the flaws stop focusing on the problems stop creating problems stop getting in your way stop all of that and start focusing on your strengths focus on the things that are great about you focus on the things that you already have at your disposal make something out of nothing let me just leave you with this one of the quickest deals i ever made in my life um if you guys don't know i i own a digital marketing agency and pretty much i build online stores i also do digital marketing advertising things like that and I prospect clients, I find people who have businesses and they want to take it online and sell more products online, right? So one of the quickest deals I ever did where I made about $1,500, it was just a text message on WhatsApp. I found this uh, woman who owns a business that she makes sauces and I reached out to her and I said, oh, I'm interested. I really like your product. Uh, it looks great. I would like to meet with you and discuss on how I can potentially help you with a few things concerning your product. And she was like, oh, okay, what is it that you do? I said, oh, I own a digital marketing agency and we do this, this and that. Would you have some time for me to just, you know, share the possibility of where I see your brand going and what your brand could possibly do? And she was like, oh, yeah, sure. Sure. Um, I'm available next week. And we met and I showed her what I've done in the past. I showed her what I can do for her, and I showed her the potential of the business that she already has. Do you understand? So, some people will. So, that opportunity came to me because I took action. I literally picked up my phone and I reached out to somebody and I told them what I have to offer that will benefit them. Right? And I didn't hesitate. I didn't think about what's wrong about me. I didn't think about can she afford it. I didn't think about um, will she price my prices. Will she not like my prices. I just did what I did and got what I wanted. right? And the thing about it is I didn't care about the outcome. Even if it went this way or that way. If, even if it didn't go as smooth as it went. And it, there are deals that went the other way. And the person said, oh, no, I'm not interested. No, I can't afford it. No, I can't. Different excuses, right? There are different people, different situations. But if I didn't take the action, I would never know. 
if I didn't believe that my skill set was important and useful, it will never happen for me, right? So stop focusing on the flaws. Pick up your pen and pad and write down the skills you have that could benefit other people. And take those skills and use them, reach out to other people and get paid. Is that, is that simple? Some people will say no, other people will say yes. Take the no's, move on to the, to the yeses. Don't get discouraged by, by rejection. Because rejection only means you're closer to acceptance. So stop focusing on your flaws. Focus on your strengths. Focus on your strengths. Focus on your strengths. <laughs> Pick up your pen and pad and write down the skills you have that could benefit other people or save them time. And you will live in an abundant, abundant, abundant life. Thank you.